Hey guys, welcome to a new YouTube video. It's going to be about simple armor trick instruction. Pretty basic setup, basic materials. You'll need you'll need 14 gauge aluminum wire. You can find it Dick Blick, Michaels, stuff like that. Dick Blick's probably the best. Um, then you'll need floral wire to wrap around the 14 gauge to give tooth to it. You know, the clay will help stick to that. 14 gauge pretty well for this we're going to need needle nose pliers with cutting ability helps not needed and then this armature sheet i just got off google this simple silhouette of a human and then you'll need a sharpie to mark out your joints and i'll explain that later so for the next step you're going to take the aluminum wire you're going to size it into the silhouette that you printed off Now here, I don't really worry too much about anything. It's pretty straightforward. You know, I like to, this is just how I like to do it. There's many ways to build an armature, but I had to then take a Sharpie and mark out kind of the rough where my shoulders, wrists, elbows would be. And then the key, I resize it here and I make a mark past that foot because I'm accounting for that piece to go into a wood base later. And that way I can kind of take it on and off the wood base. And I'll show you how to cut holes for that. And so I always leave a little bit extra. It's always good to leave extra. Even if like you're not sure about arms, I, I leave our aluminum wire for the hand even. And then sometimes with monster clay, you don't really need a structure underneath there. And you can kind of sculpt it off that but like Sculpey you definitely need an armature to keep your clay in one place and just makes it stronger overall in the end product so here I'm basically just copying the second side just taking wire matching it up with what I already did I'll put it back down the sheet mark out my joints for that side and you don't have to mark out your joints it just makes it easier for me in the long run to kind of know like okay this is kind of where the shoulder is going to be because when I sculpt I kind of like to elongate things or whatever so I really don't or nothing's really set in stone I just like to have a, a guideline here match them up transfer your points again leave extra for that foot to go into the base and I'll take floor wire and I didn't do it here just because I, th I just kind of forgot but I usually go through the entire armature and wrap it with floral wire giving it giving it tooth for the clay to hang on to like monster clay I know goes on anything it doesn't have it it doesn't really have any trouble but it's still good to still good to wrap the entire thing you know just with a little bit of floral wire giving that clay something to grab onto. And here I'm just connecting the two pieces with wire. You know, I'm just wrap it, wrap it good and strong. That way it doesn't move on you. You know, one shoulder is not going to be higher than the other halfway through sculpting. And again, this is just my beginner video. Very basic, very just build it and sculpt right now. Kind of down and dirty. I, I go back through it, probably wrap it two or three times. Make sure it doesn't slide on you. Some people take super glue and even super glue it or take quick epoxy putty and epoxy it right there. Here, since I'm kind of doing like a concept art approach, I just want something quick, fast, something that's going to stay together. And I bend that end of that wire over a little bit with my pliers. That's what I just did there to keep it from poking me later through the clay and then I just kind of bend out the hips a little bit to where it would be in the body and you're ready to go so securing the armature to the base you can use any kind of piece of wood you know you got laying around like here I've used it from a different sculpture and so you want to take the drill bit you can size it up through the drill bit end to the size of your wire you want it just over. And here, I just set the armchair how I want it, and I kind of make an indent with the drill. I don't turn it on or anything, I just kind of dent the wood 
to where that hole is going to be. And that hole is just going to be a little tiny bit bigger than that armchair wire. That way it still slips in there securely and you don't need to put like epoxy putty or any super glue or epoxy glue in there. So then I go ahead and drill the holes after I find out how I want that armature to kind of sit there. And then you can go ahead and slip your armature in. And there it is.